Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Block Quick Tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial showing you the new scan feature that's built into the Samsung Galaxy S10. And of course, guys, if you check out here, I have my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And of course, you need something like a magazine or piece of document. All right, here you go. This would be the example here. So this is something that came with a lights that we got recently and reviewed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you that it can scan it. So we're going to split it down on a flat surface next and pay close attention as if you do not do this it will not work so next i'm going to tap the camera once you're in the camera um, just to be sure go into settings once you're in settings go ahead and make sure scene optimizer is on tap on scene optimizer and of course make sure that the document scan feature is enabled and of course you'll see here you have starburst as well but the main thing is the document scanner that it says basically here that it shows a scan button when rear camera detects a document Tap this to scan the dock without um, distortion, all right? So you're going to go back, and we're going to go back to the camera. Now, the trick here for this to work is that you must turn the scene optimization on for it to detect. If it's not on, it will not work, all right? It might work in this um, uh, mode, but to be sure that it will come on, simply tap screen um, scene optimizer. That's this little um, suggestion here that allows you to optimize for pictures it will take text so let's go ahead and tap the scene optimization and notice the scene optimization on basically hold and once you hold you'll see it start to detect the um, text and it does say scan now um, this is the trick here just simply adjust and i might have to adjust off screen to get the full um, document there we go And you can stop as soon as it um, highlights the outer edges. Now, in the center, you're going to tap the scan button. And I have to do this off screen, seeing that some areas were missing if I do that on screen. So you notice it snapped. And all I did was just to tap the scan button. You can do it more than once, just in case. Now, after tapping the scan button, the image will be taken. And simply tap on the gallery. And of course, you can see here, it does this um, near perfect scan right here. And you can notice that it does do it a nice job. It does get the outer edges and it gives you this look as if the document has been officially um, scanned. All right, guys, so we just simply go to the camera. And of course, um, if you do get the crop um, perfect from the start, you don't need to do anything else. But in case you made a mistake, for example, there is a edge or uh, bothering you know, that you don't like and you want like the crop, you can always edit. So to edit, just simply tap on edit. And from here, you can adjust the editing by sliding the edges in and out and so on. You can make um, personal touches to the uh, overall um, brightness and especially the cropping. Of course, this one is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit. I'm going to hit back. And of course, from here, uh, you can send this via email as a picture. But of course, I say you don't want it as a picture and you want it as a PDF. Simply tap on the three dots upper or um, right and then of course go to print and of course this is true for any almost any printer and of course you're not going to print but of course it says select printer you're going to tap and of course there's an option there says save as pdf you're going to go ahead and save as pdf once you do save as pdf it does show you as a document here and of course most scans are saved as pdf or image you can just go ahead and tap on pdf and once you select pdf simply go um somewhere like um internal storage you could also go to your sd card um i'm going to use internal storage and of course you can place it somewhere um any folder will do as in my case i might just create a folder or simply um save it uh, where i see fit so i'm just going to find the downloads folder that's a reliable folder and you tap downloads and then at the bottom of the screen hit done all right so once you do that it should save and you can always go and check out the um, the folder itself. So just use the file browser. Once you're in the file browser, just go ahead. And once you do that, go to um, SD card or internal storage. Go to internal storage, downloads. And of course, in the downloads right here, it should be saved somewhere around here. It should be a PDF file. So I'm just going to find that right now. it should be the first pdf in the folder or the last but in most cases it's going to be the first if you have everything set as default so i'm going to tap and just use adobe um, reader right there or acrobat there you go 
that is the um the document that we scanned earlier and it's almost a perfect one-to-one -one scan remember that lighting is going to affect what you, the picture that you take also make sure that the lens is not blurred and it's clean and of course once you do that you should be able to create a nice um, scan pdf or image that can be sent via email so there's no need for a copier or anything like that all right guys we're kind of going from block tech tips showing you how to do something very cool with a built-in feature in your camera on the samsung galaxy s10 devices you're probably saying bye until next time bye